I am replacing the fuel pump on my Mazda Speed Miata right here because I got a larger BNR Evo 3 16G turbo on the car and I'm gonna put an ECU like a mega squirt ECU on a car and I need more fuel because it's gonna be about 350 horsepower but what you got to do here is the fuel pump is located like right back here so there were these plastic clips in here there were five of them and what I did is I just put all of my hardware and stuff in here where I can find it later easier but you can see the plastic clips and stuff in there the next thing you want to do is roll up this carpet I'm going to try to do that here with one hand <laughs> but you try to roll it as tight as you can and there's like some velcro right in this area so as you roll this up you can push the velcro up against the back wall right there and it leaves this all open for you I've already taken the screws out of here and I put the screws in here there they are and there is a there was like a speaker right here I took out the bolts from the speaker I and just threw those in there so I don't lose them and this just comes off of there and there's your fuel pump uh, down beneath this cover right here all this was really dusty and dirty so I vacuumed it and I got like a microfiber cloth and cleaned off all the dust and stuff I don't want anything to fall in there uh, as far as having the fuel tank full or empty my fuel tank is empty right now uh, but you could probably replace the pump with uh, a fuel tank full there's less fumes I think it's the fumes that catch on fire but uh, the next thing I gotta show you is whenever you're changing your fuel pump the pump keeps pressure inside of the lines so there's pressure inside of the fuel lines and stuff so if you disconnected those fuel lines right there then uh, fuel can come out and get all over the place spray everywhere so right underneath here you can see there is a electrical connector right there and I marked it with some blue painters tape right like there and what you want to do is you want to disconnect that electrical connector it's kind of hard to get to and stuff but you disconnect that and that shuts off the fuel pump and then you start the car and then what will happen is the engine will start and then it will die out because there, there's no more fuel pressure in the lines so the fuel pressure that's built up in the lines as soon as the injector starts spraying it'll release all that pressure and then the engine will die out and the car will stall and then you're okay there and then you keep that disconnected and then the next thing you do is you just come back here and get your golf clubs out of the way that's very important get your golf clubs out of the way and then disconnect the battery terminal right there and then there won't be any electricity to the car so that's what you do to prepare to take out the fuel pump okay i'm about to take my fuel pump out of my mazda speed miata here and this is what you have to do before you take it out what i've done is i've gone up underneath here and i have disconnected the fuel pump relay right there and I put like a little bit of tape on the connector but I disconnected that and what that does is it stops that fuel pump from pumping so the next thing you want to do is start the engine and what this will do 
is here. Take a good listen. See that right there? The engine died out. And what happened was, since the fuel pump relay was disconnected, the fuel pump wasn't pumping fuel into the fuel lines. So it depressurized all the fuel lines because when the engine started and then the injectors were shooting fuel in, whatever remaining pressure that was in the lines, it went through the injectors. So like now, all of the lines are depressurized. And then the next thing you want to do is go back here and I already use like a 10 millimeter and you can see the lights are on. You just want to go back here and disconnect your electrical connectors like that and from your battery. And now there's no more electricity to go into anything on the car. So you're all ready to take out this fuel pump right there. And there's not going to be any sparks or anything. And fuel isn't going to come shooting out those fuel lines because they're depressurized. Okay, now that I have depressurized the fuel lines and everything and I'm ready to take the pump out, the first thing I want to do is just disconnect the electrical connector you just push the side of it, there's like a little tab, you push that in, and then you just pull the electrical connector off. And then as far as, as far as the fuel lines here, you can see this doesn't want to come off because it, it hits that little metal bump or whatever on the metal part of the fuel line, that little plastic connector. So like that little gray tab, there's one on the other side, they need to be spread apart. And then you have these tools that you get at the auto parts store. They're just a quick disconnect. And then it just fits right over the line like that and fits into here. And you go like that and then it pushes the, it pushes those tabs apart and I think I'm just gonna lean this over here while I take this off. There, I did it. Yeah, that just pushes those tabs and then it just comes out over the little line there. I've got like a, a rag just in case the thing leaks or whatever yeah just like that <laughs> but yeah there's going to be fuel in the lines a little bit so i just put a rag there so there it is it's like leaking in there but that's it pretty much i'll get this one it's hard to hold this camera and do that at the same time there i've got this one disconnected also so all i gotta do is just start taking the little screws out of the top cover of the fuel pump right there to get it out